machine. What's up guys, Nathan here with Overhang Urban Exploration. Uh, I just want to say a quick thank you as we just hit 1k subscribers. That is insane, thank you so much. Can't believe we've done this. It's an amazing milestone, thank you all. As always guys, I can't tell you where I am legally, but I just got a tip from a friend that mail has been building up here. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that usually means it's abandoned. So we're gonna go ahead to the front door and see if anyone is home. like it might be deserted that's well that's good news for us uh let's check the computer and see if there isn't an easy way to open this door okay i'm just gonna follow this power cord from the computer that should lead me to its source hopefully uh aha breaker box yes too easy come on let's do uh it um yeah it's locked <laughs> but these things aren't really that secure um i just need my robinson number two you guys know it's my favorite and shit oh uh note to self edit that out <laughs> edit that curse out and nope i forgot my screwdriver guys i'm sorry that's a rookie mistake <laughs> never leave home without your screwdriver. Uh, however, uh, I do know these maintenance guys usually do the same thing, so they'll stash, you know, one nearby in case. Uh, let's see if I can find something to get this open. <laughs> Shit! What the fuck was that? Cut that out. Oh, yes, the gods are smiling on us today, guys. We are in luck. This should open the uh, breaker box. Let's do this. Voila! Uh, guys, this is um, technically a felony. Don't, uh, don't do what I'm doing. Okay, moment of truth. No sirens, get in there, yes! Okay, that's good. Okay, anyway, sorry. <laughs> Let's go check the front computer again. Uh, usually a power outage should trigger the emergency door mechanism. Now, uh, this should do it. We are in, guys. We're officially in. Also, we're not in a police car. So, you know, that's already a lot better than last time. Uh, right, let's head in. That's really good news for us. Uh, bad news is I, I don't know if I can get back through this door. Uh, that's okay, these places usually have a ton of X's, so Whew, that's good. Damn it again with this. Um, okay, no worries, no worries, we're good. I just need to find another way in. 
This is incredible. I I've never seen anything like this. Uh, I, I bet this goes viral. Awesome! I think I can take this vent off with a screwdriver. That's crazy! Ugh. I don't know if you could see that in the footage, but we just got a minor earthquake. Wild! <laughs> oh, my eyes are playing tricks on me down here, guys. Oh, do you guys hear that? What is that? Sort of sounds like whispering. <laughs> Not going crazy, I guys. I swear. I, I'm, I'm serious right now. Tammy1992 said on my last video, you can't actually crawl in vents. So, uh, fun fact, guys. A lot of people say a vent can't support a human body, and usually they're right. Uh, however. These large industrial facilities sometimes have more robust infrastructure to prevent a um, collapse. Wow, there's like, there's like really no one here. Um, guys, so I can't tell you the name of this place, uh, but I will tell you that this used to, mm, I'm really more of a tea person. I left the package on your desk. From Veronica and Mother Hub. She said it's very important. We need backup on floor two. I can't explain this. Send backup. Send everyone. What the... What the fuck is that? A lot of us are getting sick. I hear the same thing is happening at Mother Hub. Can we get some information, please? This is ridiculous. Ugh, wow, I did not need to see that. Uh, how does it even fit? Oh, here's a password. <laughs> Coffee lover. Original? Oh, yeah, this is good. It looks like a code I can use on the door panel. <laughs> oh, there's an earthquake again, guys. Oh, this is a little sketchy. What's behind door number three? Another door. Hooray! It is absolutely pitch dark in here. <sighs> Flashlight, please don't fail me.
Mum, <laughs> Mum, if you see this, I love you. I'm, I'm so sorry. I've, I've been a dick lately. I love you. Is it I just me? You enough. <laughs> Out. We have a lot of 
is lately. <laughs> we need the next implant. <laughs> It's not good over here. I would appreciate some of an update. Scott. The quiet. It's just one big intersection of everything that can drive a person nuts. I am going nuts, by the way. The other night I went to the vending machine to grab a snack, and I started to hear this muffled talking coming from further down the hallway. I couldn't make out who the voice belonged to at first, but when I moved towards where I thought it was coming from, I kind of started to get an idea of who it might be. It sounded like my little brother died all the way back when I was a kid. He was trying to get my attention from the inside of the walls. Not a couple of sonar scanners down to one of the lower levels of the complex. Just a routine thing. Nothing that's any big deal, except 
this is time, I started picking up some crazy readings. Really unusual stuff. It's been a while since anyone's been down to that level, so we didn't really know what to expect. But it definitely wasn't what we got, huh? Like I guess they said, it's a sonar scanner. Meant to be used for underwater work, obviously, but we managed to rework it into something that could be used in the complex. Basically, this is a kind of echo location help us paint a picture of the surroundings. We can get an idea if it's worth it to send in the more heavy duty stuff. I got off track, huh? Anyway, we ended up getting pings back with a few of them. Something absolutely massive out there. We're talking big enough to fill a hole in the center of the earth. We've been debating whether or not we should send more drones. Maybe once more cameras. Then we got back some more readings that scared the shit out of us. Whatever the hell is down there, it's moving. They got us working on these implants for the mother hub. Apparently it helps with reducing the level of sickness they're experiencing over there. All I know is I wouldn't be installing this thing in my chest to prevent a common cold. Mr. Eli, uh, I mean Dr. Eli, has got me working on this new project. Some kind of machine. Weird thing is, usually we're the ones in charge of creating the blueprints, but this time he just smiles, hands me the papers all ready to go. That does save me time, but I can't help thinking it's a bit fishy. They pay me to create whatever they need, so I don't ask questions. XB9, or let's just call it what it is, an ancient artifact seems to radiate a frequency. 33.33 hertz. But it's more than that. It's a pattern. It's as if the relic is showing us something. Luckily, we are in coordination with Dr. Greenwall at Mother Hub. They already cracked the code. The resulting factor is this blueprint. My God. What are we creating? It's weird, you know. Taking the same wires and circuits I've been working with for 10 years and combining them in such a way I would never have thought of. It baffles me a bit how technology evolves. There's nothing new here, nothing at all. It's just rethinking how it comes together. You know, I think we're done with that machine, finally. It took a massive room to build in. There's so many of us working together. <laughs> it's so exciting. The messed up part is we have the clearance to create it, but not to know what it actually does. It drives me crazy, to tell you the truth. I hear it turning on in there. Hard to mistake the low hum of the machine. The strange part to me is the song before it happens. It's unmistakable when you hear it. Like a small child singing. People started getting sick right around the time we finished the machine. I don't trust it. The scientists won't even tell us the origin of the blueprint. Also, I have connections at Motherhood, but a connection, a friend. We started communicating over the radio a few months back. He said people over there are getting sick, just like here. He said it started happening much earlier too. Madre de Dios. Whatever is happening here, happened there first. 
I asked my friend Ron in engineering, what's the deal with the motherhood? Why is it so tied into everything we do here? He told me it was built by us. We were contracted to do it. The location sits on top of a, a geological hotspot. They are testing out our new thermal generator, which basically produces continuous power. Makes sense. You wouldn't want something to go wrong with that many people underground. Greetings and salutations. This is General Maximus on behalf of the Mother Hub. Today we've confirmed high traces of an unknown airborne parasite that seems to be infecting a large majority of our population. We have made the difficult decision to seal up the doors of the Mother Hub to keep it contained. We realize the sample we sent you may have also been contaminated. In light of this, I recommend you follow suit and seal up your facility as well. We can't risk this getting into the larger population. We are not shutting down. For our company to survive financially, we need to be producing constantly. Even a month off would likely cause a downward snowball for shareholders. I am sure whatever this is will pass just like COVID. I for one am not afraid of a parasite or a stomach virus. I also want to remind you that any false spread of this information to the VRP, and we will be suing. Thank you, General, for your time. I don't respond to petty threats. You are risking the health of your company. That's out of my hands, and I don't intend to interfere. But watch your tone when you speak to me. Mother Hub represents a great power in the future of humanity, and I am its driving force. I know, technically, I'm not supposed to keep track of this sort of stuff. Scientists go into that room, and they don't know come out. There isn't another exit. I know because I talked to Ron. In fact, the guy won't shut up about his handiwork with the construction of this place. Uh, due to the uh, high amount of reported hallucinations and nausea, I'm suspecting there's a carbon monoxide leak. I'll be by tomorrow to inspect any areas that would be of high risk. Right now, I'd recommend evacuation of the building. These things are of very high risk. Gene. Mm -hmm.